Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, and today we will discuss Parashat Pukudei, the parasha that we will read this Shabbat. This parasha seems to be somewhat repetitive, somewhat of a, more of a tax return parasha that uh, enlists all the expenses and the revenue and the materials. And you ask yourself, okay, so what's the message of the parasha? And I think that there is a tremendous message, a profound one, especially at the end of the parasha. The Torah describes that after everything was reported and was reported correctly, the Divine Presence filled up the Mishkan, the tabernacle, and even Moshe couldn't go in until next week's parasha, when Hashem says to Moshe and calls him to come in into the tabernacle. Nachmanides comments that there is a similarity between the end of the Parsha and the revelation on Sinai. In both events, the Divine Presence filled up the place. In both places, Hashem calls up Moshe to come and to ascend the mountain or to enter the tabernacle. And in a way, the ultimate goal, the Divine Presence will dwell among the Jewish people. However, I would like to expand a little bit on that point and maybe even to deviate a bit. The revelation on Sinai was more what I will call top-down process. God basically designed a goal for Exodus that the Jewish people will go and worship God and receive the Torah on Mount Sinai. And God gave all the directions and the guidance of how to do it. We all remember the Torah stated about the three days of preparations and you shouldn't touch the mountain and you should not come close to the mountain and only Moshe can go up. It was more top down. However, the Mishkan, the tabernacle, even though the commandment itself came from God and the directions of how to build it was also given by God, but who did the work? Who put the efforts and the time and the donations and the heart? It's the people. It's Bezalel and Aulihav and all the people that had the generosity of their heart and their minds. They gave their time, their resources, their talent in order to build a structure that God can dwell in, in the midst of the Jewish people which means the revelation on Sinai was more top-down, where the revelation through the tabernacle was more from the people themselves searching, yearning for God's presence in their lives. And I think that this is a tremendous message because in a way when we ask ourselves, how can we come closer to Hashem? How can we become more connected, more attached to God? There are really two answers that both, by the way, do not contradict each other, but rather complement each other. There are times that we can be connected to Hashem through attaching ourselves in a way to someone who is very spiritual, someone who is a scholar, who will help us. And sometimes we need to do it by ourselves, by our own efforts and time and intellectual abilities, emotions, feelings. Both apply. There is no magic formula. It's very subjective. Everyone finds his or her way to connect to Hashem. But the ultimate goal is not just to bring the Divine Presence to dwell on the top of a mountain or between the cherubim. But the most important thing is to have Hashem dwell in our hearts, in our lives, be part of who we are so we can be as godly as we can. Thank you.